He ain't me, but promise if we add a member. I stay faithful from November on the next December. No average marriage, but your life will be such an adventure. Iced out in Iceland in the blue lagoon, dead of the winter. Stop listening till you lose a family. Come fuck with a winner. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Garrett, and today I'm gonna get a tutorial, and this is gonna be on how to create your own G Fuel advertisement. And I'm using G Fuel as an example because it's a lot easier for you guys to understand. Since a lot of people watching my videos are from um, the Call of Duty community, and if you're not um, watching this from the kind of online social Call of Duty or um, esports kind of community, then this is just gonna be a cool kind of introducing to you guys to a really awesome company called G Fuel. And uh, what it is, it's just pretty much like um, tubs or packets of sugar you put into your drink and it just kind of uh, makes everything taste better and wakes you up and everything like that. But uh, the whole video is going to be based on making an advertisement like this and it's very simplistic and it's very clean and uh, you know you just have to understand how some things work into making an advertisement. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it down for you guys. I'm just going to start off with a plain background. and. For the people wanting to make this, how I got my PNGs, I literally just went on to Google and typed in G Fuel PNG and I just grabbed the first one, which is just a regular tub. You guys can choose literally anything you want. You can go on their website, you can get anything like that through the website or just anything in general. So to get right into it, what you want to do is basically just make a background, any color you want that matches your tub. Obviously for mine, mine's going to be a blue tub, so I'm going to be using a um, blue background. And I'm going to lower the size a little bit and then put it like kind of in the middle. And we're going to be changing the size in the middle and everything like that later on. But what you want to do to get some colors is when you just grab either the background color you're using or just grab one off of the uh, tub itself. And then what you want to do is grab the color from the little swatch over here and move it upwards so it still stays blue and then make it you know a little bit darker. And the next thing you want to do is make a new layer and you want to grab the gradient tool and you just want to make a really nice gradient um a gradient not a not a radial but a regular linear and you want to make it as nice as possible that's very kind of smooth transitioned and if you put it in the bottom it'll have something looking like this so after you're done with this all you want to do is make a new layer and then grab just a rectangle with that bottom blue that you're using and make it not so much into the middle but rather more so towards the bottom and then lower the opacity a little bit make a new layer and then hold alt and as we learned in other tutorials you want to make a clipping mask just kind of putting that on there and then you want to just take your radial tool or your gradient tool excuse me and put this on the little circle right here this is going to put it to radial which makes it a uh, circle you want to just drag out from the bottom or the middle to the sides but for this one we're going to put it on reverse or take it off of reverse whatever which one's ticked for you so it's the darker color to the lighter color first and if we drag out to the side it's going to create this kind of simplistic nice looking gradient like that so now that you're done with this you guys can literally just lower the opacity and you guys can mess with it like this i'm just going to leave it on kind of like this one and maybe lower it to like 30 percent and then we're going to take the tub PNG and just bring it down so it's just hovering over that kind of um, bar that you guys just created, the rectangle, just a little bit. And if you guys save the PNG and it has little white lines and stuff like that, you know, just bring in your one tool and just kind of cut it out and stuff like this. It's not really needed for you guys to have that extra white line on the side just because it doesn't look as clean. So basically now that you guys have this, you guys can do this without any packs. You guys can just stay here, stay here with you know, a tool and use your brush on a very high size, like a size, let's just say 400, make a new layer, and then just kind of add a white, um, white brushes everywhere. But for this, I'm gonna be using a little lighting pack that I made a little while ago. The link's gonna be in the description below. You guys can just drag this in to your document, a um, nice white light, and just put this above, and it's just gonna help create some light. And now that you have this, all you wanna do is make a new layer, and then you want to just pretty much zoom out, not a lot, but just enough. And then you want to click in like just areas like that. And then you want to take the opacity and you want to lower this a lot to about 21%. And then you have this kind of like little lightings and stuff on this. And we are going to put one behind this, but first we're going to start with something else. So what you want to do is now make a little ellipse under the tub itself. So you guys can grab just a you know the um what's it called the ellipse tool make sure it's on the black color make a new layer and then you guys can just drag it you know the same width as this tub and then hit control t make it a little bit bigger center it 
and then you guys can take the uh, the height or the width however you guys want to explain it to yourself and move that down a little bit so now that you guys have that done you guys can go to blur Gaussian blur and convert the to a smart object and for a radius I'm gonna be using 9.2 and then you want to take the opacity and just lower it to like 70 percent so now that you zoom out you kind of had a little drop shadow from the tube so now that you guys have this, there's a lot more other things you guys can start doing. You guys can start doing a little bit more of a lighting effect before we start adding water, or you guys can do other things. I'm going to make a new layer, basically, and just grab that white that we're going to be using with the brush and put it on, like, a lower size to, like, maybe a 90. And I'm just going to click on the tube right where that ice cube is just to kind of bring it out, and then you guys can lower the opacity. And uh, now that we have that done, the next thing you guys want is that water. And the reason why we're using water is because you guys can see in the tube right here, the water is going to be flowing around right here. We're going to keep that kind of style. And you guys can use like fruits and stuff if you guys are doing other stuff. But what I did is I typed in on you or on Google, excuse me, water PNGs, and I found a really nice website called PNGedAll.com, and they have a bunch of water transparency uh, PNGs you can use. And I'm going to be using this one if I can find it. Nope. Oh this one and this is a really cool one you know it does wrap around things so we're gonna be using this one you guys can just save it onto your browser just go looking around Google for a little bit and you guys will find the best one for you so I'm gonna take this I'm gonna put this behind all my tubes and I'm just gonna kind of bring it around here and I'm gonna size it so I think that'll look good and I'm gonna maybe move it up a little bit maybe to the right and I'm gonna put this like that and then you want it to wrap around the G Fuel thing. So what you want to do is duplicate it and put it above the tub. And then you want to now figure out where you want it to wrap. Obviously, I don't want it covering the most of it. So I'm just going to take it and I'm going to cut out this big ass block and then just kind of shave it down to it wraps around. So you can see the little wrap and then you want to make a new layer, hold alt and put that new layer on top of that. Uh, that other splash that you have make sure you have a color black um shadow and just kind of click right there just to kind of create this little depth feel just to have um happen like the curve looks a little bit more realistic rather than just having it placed so after you have this you guys can start working with um certain kind of blending modes and you guys can put it on soft light which doesn't really do anything and put it on screen what screen does is it makes it a little bit more transparent than it actually looks so you know you can see a little bit through it which looks a lot more realistic if it's actually a water for this um, tutorial that's what we're going to be using and after done with this what you can do is make a new layer above that stuff grab your white brushes you guys have been using and just basically click like three spots around that water lower the opacity as i said before so it kind of looks like it's glowing and then you're going to have a nice looking kind of glow onto your water so there's other things you guys can do to this there's um ice cubes on top of this so let's just say you're gonna hop over to google you guys can type in like ice cube pngs or ice cube for this and your transparency your png all um website and you guys can just grab you know ice cubes from here and uh, add them into your thing. Obviously for this tutorial, I'm not gonna be doing that just because I really can't find ones that I'd like to use. Um, you guys can make this for literally any tub you want, like a watermelon, a peach mango. And uh, now that you're done with this, there's kind of other things you can do. You know, this isn't just the end. You guys can go to the top. You guys can go right here to your little adjustments and make a hue and saturation. And you wanna drag that lightness down a little bit and your darkness up. And then you wanna take your kind of lightness and kind of bring it around again so moving this to the right is going to make that blue color a lot more saturated see and if i move it to the left it makes it black and white or in this case a really weird red and i wouldn't go above plus you know 10 maybe plus like six or plus seven and for the lightness i wouldn't go above you know plus three or below negative two i'd probably keep it around like zero to negative one and then right here your hues you can change the tube color you know to an orange or to a purple in this case we're gonna move it to a little bit to the right plus three to make it a kind of a more a more broader blue and now that you have that done you guys can either add a little gradient on the sides just like this and you're gonna take um a brush you know size like a really high probably like a 300 make a new layer and zoom out and just kind of hover around these corners and you can do this with the gradient tool but for some reason i like doing a lot better by myself just because i feel as if i have more control and of course this is lower the opacity 
and it's not too much like 50% or like 75% and then now that you guys are done let's just say you're happy with the whole entire outcome you guys can add you know the G Fuel logo or something like that you guys can just drag this in um of course if you're gonna make this kind of match you know you can make it white or black um, I'm gonna make it white and I don't really like how the G Fuel logo looks to um, particularly in this style but we're just gonna leave it for this tutorial and let's just say we're gonna put it right let's just say here actually now it kind of looks weird maybe in the bottom right hand corner so just so people know what it is so we have the G Fuel logo right and obviously in this, if I was making this for my portfolio I just wouldn't leave that there it looks kind of awkward but now that we're done with all this stuff all you want to do is hit the bottom background layer and hold shift and click the top and then hit control E and that's gonna merge every single layer so you can't go back now unless you hit control Z hit control J and then hit control J again so you have three of the same layers go to the first one go to blur and then go to Gaussian blur and put that blur on like a 0.5 Grab your eraser on a size, maybe like 150, and then make sure it's on a hardness of zero, and just kind of erase almost everything, except for um a lot of this tub and a little bit of the water. You know, you can leave the same, and then you guys can just click around in the uh, background. So if you just kind of put that away, you can see that some stuff still stays blurred. And uh, if you guys want a little trick and tip of Photoshop, if you guys zoom in and then it gets all blurry, if you just click once, it usually just zooms out and you get right back to you know a very high quality picture. So like that, it just goes back to my high quality images. And of course, you guys can just merge these again, go to a Control J, and you guys can do a bunch of stuff. You guys can go to like render, um, difference clouds, and you guys can do like, st not stupid stuff like this, but um, if you do it correctly, it might look cool. But in this case, I'm just going to leave it the same. And this is going to be basically a very easy tutorial. It's not very hard to do. And it's very simplistic and it's very easy. And I didn't want to take too much time for you guys making this tutorial. As I said before, you know, I'm trying to upload every single day. And I try to board myself with the same kind of style uploads. Um, if there's any kind of tutorials I've done in the past that you guys want me to do in the uh, future, you know, over again, more in depth, you know, stuff like that. Let me know. Hit me up on Twitter. Um, send me a comment or just, you know, at me or something like that. But uh, other than that, this is just going to be it for the video. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. It really means a lot. You guys are really killing it um, lately with the likes and the views and everything like that. And, you know, I have 9.4K right now, and I'm getting super close to 10K. You know, I'm trying to get my website out and stuff like this. So for this video, if you guys want to purchase this advertisement just like this or with the, actually all the layers, it's going to be available in the description for $2. And other than that, that's basically all I have for today's video. And if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Hit me up on Twitter, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Tomorrow